Affording a home these days seems almost impossible. It does. Look, we have an affordability crisis. This has been going on for a while. But is it impossible? I don't know. Sometimes one must think outside the box or actually outside the area where they live. Because there are some cities in the United States where it's pretty darn affordable to live and the houses are, are kind of cheap. I know it's not ideal to to move away from your family and friends and from the area that you like, but if you really want to afford a home and you can make the move, something you really may have to consider. So there are some areas in this country where you don't have to sell a kidney or give up your firstborn in order to get a house. Uh, seriously, no, there really is. So that's what I'm talking about this week. I'm going to share with you the 10 most affordable places in the US. So stick around for this one. Let's get started. This list I'm going to share with you was compiled by realtor.com. Now, before you all go commenting that how come this city made the list and how come this one didn't, let me tell you, there are a ton of these lists out on the interwebs. And when I was searching, I, I saw like all these different lists come up. And of course, I go by realtor.com because it is a real estate website. And I thought they had like the best data because they're looking at not only the cost of the homes, but the cost of living in those areas. So this is where I got it from. But if you feel there's a city that shouldn't have been on this list or should be on this list, let me know. And would you consider moving to any of these cities because they have cheap houses? Let me know. I'm curious. Let's get into this. So coming in at number 10 is Augusta, Georgia. The median home list price in Augusta, Georgia is $311,575. I think that's a bargain, don't you? That, that's pretty reasonable. Augusta is best known for the Masters Golf Tournament that's held every April. So that's a really popular thing. As a matter of fun fact, the schools actually take their spring break while that tournament is going on. And a lot of people rent their houses out to visitors coming in to watch the masters in person. And they make a lot of money. They rent in their houses out. Actually, I'm sure they make that money to pay for their great vacation that they take while the tournament is going on. So that's a plus. Augusta is also a medical tech and military hub. You have the Fort Gordon military base, as well as Augusta University's Medical College of Georgia. And that is the only medical school in the entire state of Georgia. So you have a lot of people coming and going, living there. You're probably going to have more transient people. But the thing about Augusta, those people who do come in for a period of time for the army, or if they're going to med school or working for the med school, and they get transferred out, they end up coming back because they love this city so much. Now, what's nice about Augusta is that you can get a house on a third or half an acre if you're looking for a decent amount of property and for like in the $300,000 range. So that's a pretty good deal. Number nine, we have Columbia, South Carolina. The median home list price in Columbia, South Carolina is $308,900. Now, South Carolina was pretty popular during the pandemic. People flock there, especially those who are working remote. They were able to go south and prices did go up quite a bit. So Columbia is the state capital of South Carolina, and it's also home to the University of South Carolina. Now, again, the prices went high because people flock there during the pandemic for the low cost of living, low taxes, low housing costs. Home prices in Columbia have seen the biggest price drop in recent months. So from June until the end of last year, prices dropped about 5%. However, they are still 10% higher than they were in 2021. Now, what's nice about Columbia, for about $310,000, you can get an 1,800-square-foot, three-bedroom, one-bath home just north of the downtown area. I think that's a pretty good deal. Number eight, we have McAllen, Texas. Median home list price is $270,000 in McAllen, Texas. Now, look, everybody flocked to Texas because of Austin. Austin boomed during the pandemic, and now it's really coming down. Austin has just gotten so overinflated, and the taxes are pretty high in Austin. Yeah, Austin's kind of hurting right now, but there are other parts of Texas if you want to move there. Now, McAllen is located on the U.S.-Mexico border. It's about an hour drive to the Gulf Coast. Now, what makes McAllen interesting and why visitors flock there? They have 550 different species of birds and 300 plus species of butterflies. All in McAllen, Texas. Like, who knew? Now, in McAllen, Texas, you can actually get a newly constructed three-bedroom home for $285,000. What? Yes, $285,000. 
So if Texas is your thing, McAllen is an area I think you should consider. Coming in at number seven, it's Indianapolis, Indiana. Median home list price in Indianapolis is $300,000. Okay, I know, we're like in smack middle of the country, pretty much, going to Indianapolis. I get it. But listen, I've been to Indianapolis, been there twice. It's actually a nice city. And hello, it has the Indy 500. Like, that's kind of cool. Another thing about Indianapolis is that you can find one of the cheapest mansions in the country. Uh-huh. So if you're looking for like a really big house and a mansion type of house, you can go to Indianapolis and you can score big. The prices in Indianapolis were up 11% year over year from 21 to 22. They did drop a little bit, about 2% in May of 22. So they're holding their value. So Indianapolis could be like, you know, the next big thing of people moving to for the affordability. You can actually get a remodeled three bedroom, one bath home for about $150,000. What? $150,000 won't get you a condo in Northern New Jersey. Like, are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. Coming in at number six, Little Rock, Arkansas. The median home list price in Little Rock is $298,873. Hear me out. I know you're thinking, oh my God, Arkansas. <laughs> no, not throwing any shade to Arkansas. I've never been. But I just met someone recently, a fellow realtor here in New Jersey, whose daughter moved to Arkansas about four years ago, and they absolutely love it there. She said it's beautiful. It's not what you picture in your mind or what you would what you see in the movies or TV. They said it's surprisingly really nice. Little Rock was just recently named one of the best for middle class buyers due to the low cost of living in this city. For $300,000, you can get a large four bedroom home in a wooded suburban neighborhood just outside of Little Rock. So there's that. So if you're looking for that lifestyle and you like that kind of community and woodsy feel and you want to get a nice house, I don't know, Arkansas, Little Rock, it might be your city. Coming in at number five, we have Jackson, Mississippi. The median home Home list price is $299,000 in Mississippi. Now, if you've probably heard about this, actually, I didn't hear about this, but apparently there has been some issues with the drinking water in Jackson just recently. Yeah. So apparently there's a little bit of toxicity in the water there. I'm sure they're addressing it and I'm sure people are spending a lot of money on bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> live in Jackson, but it hasn't affected the home prices in Jackson yet, believe it or not, because of the affordability. People are still moving there. Jackson is one of the four metro areas where the current price is still the highest in this entire list that I'm giving you right now. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. I know they have the issue with the water, but again, maybe they're addressing it. Who knows? Or if you want to live in other parts of Mississippi, that's something to consider too. I actually had clients that moved to Mississippi from New Jersey last year. And I will tell you, they got a gorgeous brand new house down there. Just beautiful. Yeah. Trust me. Coming in at number four, Wichita, Kansas. The median home list price is $304,475. The home list price in Wichita have increased the most out of any other city on this list. Their price increases went 24% year over year. Holy cow. And so far, the Wichita market has avoided the downturn that many other metropolitan areas have seen. So they're holding their values and it looks like it's going up from there. You can actually get a 2,500 square foot home, three bedroom, two bath for $180,000. Are you serious? $180,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. Like it's enough to make me want to move there. Yep. I don't know. That's, I, I can't believe how cheap that is. Living here in New Jersey, I'm like, yeah, I'm speechless. I, I, I can't believe how cheap that is. So that's another good option. Coming in at number three. It's Syracuse, New York. The median home list price in Syracuse is $217,250. Now I know what you're thinking, Syracuse, upstate New York, snow. Miserable winters. Okay, yeah, it does. It snows. It's in the middle of the snow belt. It's near the lake. So you're going to have lake effect snow, all the things when it comes to winter. But I will tell you, upstate New York is freaking gorgeous in spring, summer, and fall. No joke. It's like you're going to get the best foliage up there in the fall. I, it's just absolutely stunning. Now, Syracuse is also a college town, obviously, because of the university. Syracuse is also recently named one of the best places for middle-class buyers, according to realtor.com. 
and that's because of their low price tag. Now, the number of homes for sale in Syracuse is the lowest of any metropolitan area on the list. Despite the housing shortage, homes are sitting on the market in Syracuse a little bit longer, and they're selling in anywhere from 47 to 60 days. So to give you an idea of what you can get in Syracuse, you can score a three-bedroom brick ranch in a cul-de-sac in Syracuse's historic Washington Park area, which is near the center of town, and a five-minute drive from Lake Onondaga for $220,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the lakes up there in upstate New York, like Lake Onondaga, the Finger Lakes. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The wine trails up there just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really nice. So look, don't knock it till you check it out. Okay. I know the winters may scare you a little bit, but that's only a small portion of the year. It's not year round. So it's a good option to consider. Number two. We have Scranton, Pennsylvania. The median home list price is $225,000 in Scranton. And Scranton is home to Dunder Mifflin. Yet, no, it's not. It doesn't exist. It only exists in, in the office. And like, yeah, big office fan here. Okay. But that's what everybody associates Scranton with is Dunder Mifflin. And trust me, it doesn't exist. So Scranton is about two and a half hours from Philadelphia. And it's also the most affordable ski town in America. So if you're into skiing and winter sports, going to get a bargain skiing there and doing the snowboarding and all the things. So Scranton is home to five different colleges and universities, and it has a vibrant downtown. And I can attest to this. I was literally in Scranton, I'm not kidding you, three days ago. I was there visiting a college with my daughter, and I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised by the city. It's a quaint city very charming. The architecture, the buildings, they, they date back to the 1800s. It's it's really pretty. I was very surprised. I was happy to see this on Realtor.com's list. I'm like, wow, Scranton's kind of a cool city. So this is awesome. So in Scranton, you could get a large three-bedroom house with an updated kitchen for about $225,000. Yeah. And listen, don't be knocking PA either. Listen, I live in New Jersey and we visit PA, you know, on occasion, we go out there and do all the things, you know, we go antiquing and things like that. Pennsylvania is beautiful, believe it or not. It really is. So don't knock it till you check it out. And Scranton, I I think it's a really nice city. It's it's a very small city, but very quaint. And I think it's a good option. Oh, something to think about. Number one on Realtor.com's list the most affordable place in America, is Youngstown, Ohio. The median home list price in Youngstown is $149,000. What? Yes, $149,000. You can't even get a condo, a one-bedroom condo in northern New Jersey for $149,000. I'm sorry, you, it, it's very rare, but you can get a house in Ohio for that price. Youngstown is halfway between Cleveland and Pittsburgh, and it sits on the obviously on the Ohio State side. This is the cheapest metropolitan area in the nation. Now, people are flocking there because of the low cost of living. Can you blame them? No. With everything that's going on nowadays in our country with the inflation, the gas prices, all of that, people are looking for affordability. And I think Youngstown offers all the things, especially that home price. I can't get past that home price. $150,000. Good Lord. So if you have that capability to work remote for your company, maybe Youngstown is for you. Now I get it. Ohio does have the bad weather as well in the winter. The winters get rough in Ohio, but it's for a brief period of time. Okay, so if you can get past all that and enjoy the rest of the year, spring, summer, and fall, I think this would be a good option, Youngstown. It doesn't get any cheaper than that, I don't think. If it does, can somebody tell me? Because I really want to know. So if you're interested in moving to any of these areas that I've listed and you need a referral for a great real estate agent, any of these areas, I have connections everywhere. So let me know. My contact information is in the description box. You can send me an email. I prefer email, actually. You can send me an email. Let me know and I will get you connected with somebody. So if you liked what you saw here today and actually you're thinking about moving to New Jersey... That's where I'm from. You can check out this video over here of the most affordable places in the state of New Jersey. So I know it's expensive here, but there are some pretty affordable places to live here in the Garden State. Who knew? Thank you so much for joining me today and getting your dose of real estate reality. My name is Jackie Baker, and I will see you next time.